Hello guys, this is Architech and today I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS X on your Windows PC. Well, the tutorial is quite similar to in if you want to install Mac on your Mac. So, you know, you could do that also uh, using the same techniques and same tutorial and same method which I'm going to teach you right now. So, first of all, what you need is you need to have VirtualBox installed on your PC. Well, to do to do that, I'm going to give you a download link in the description. You could download VirtualBox totally for free from there. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, download the VirtualBox from it. And uh, oh my God, this. Okay, so here's the VirtualBox link, and you could download it from CNET for free. Then comes the Mac OS X ISO copy. So what you can do that I'm I'm going to give you the download link for that too, and it's totally for free. But you know you have to understand that it is totally illegal. I mean, I would suggest you to get a proper or uh, legal ISO from the Apple site itself. So you know if you have enough money to spend I mean if you just want to try out the software since it has been cracked by Hazard so you won't be very much responsible if you try it so and you know no one's gonna check so just try it so you can download from the site I'm going to download give, give you the link very soon I mean in the description and that's it so okay let's start the installation so first what you gotta do is you have to install VirtualBox and once you have done that you will see something very much similar to this this thing this screen turns up when you first open VirtualBox so the only thing which will be missing are these three icons one two and three because these are the machines which I have installed and I'm sorry I just by mistake opened one of them let me close it okay closed so you won't be seeing these three stuff at all because these are the three stuffs which I have installed and I'm going to install totally fresh copy of Mac OS X to show you guys how to do that so first you, what you gotta do is you have to click the new button as soon as you click it you have to down, give it a name you have to give your machine a name anything which you feel like I will give it Mac tutorial how about that very cool huh well then you gotta select the type you have to select Mac OS X then again in the version you have to select Mac OS X once you do that click next give it an appropriate RAM I would suggest you to give half of your RAM like first of all if you are using a PC and you have just got one gigs of RAM definitely you should not try installing Mac on it because it will not run very good if you have got around 2 gigs then okay you might be able to run but it won't be a good experience I've got 8 gigs of RAM so I'll be giving it around 4 GBs okay 4 GB would be fine I guess okay 4 GB what you gotta do is click the next button as soon as you click next you have to create a hard disk create a hard drive I mean it's not a physical drive but a virtual drive created on your existing hard disk so hit the next you know the second option and click create then select the first option VDI and then click next when you click next you'll see two options dynamically allotted fixed size click dynamically allotted then select appropriate size I'll list 20 GB so you could you know the Mac software the Mac operating system will itself consume around 5 GB so you know you have to select 2 GB then click create as soon as create is create you know you do not need to run it right now you first have to go to the settings you have to highlight this thing you know Mac main XP Mac you you have to highlight Mac tutorial you have to select Mac tutorial the the machine which you have just created obviously if you are using it for the first time that will be the only machine but in my case there are three more machines so you have to click the machine which you have just created and then go to the settings in settings give it an appropriate amount of display memory well I've got 128 MBs of display memory so I'll give it you know around 79 it's your choice totally your choice then go to the system and you have to keep in mind that you have to uncheck this box 
uncheck this box enable EFI you have to, to disable it just click and uncheck it and then click OK otherwise you are not able to run it you won't be able to run it then you have to start the machine to click you, you just need to click start and the machine will be started as soon as the machine starts it asks for a startup disk well that startup disk is nothing else but the Mac ISO which you just, just downloaded using uTorrent well all those who don't know well, uTorrent is an application which you use to download torrent files okay leave that I'm, I know you must be knowing about it so you have to click this tiny little icon over here just click on it and what you gotta do is select Snow Leopard ISO which you just downloaded it is lying on my desktop so I'll just select it then you have to hit start okay so this is the first run of our new machine you have to hit any key to enter the startup okay the startup starts let's see what happens next okay it is taking a bit time so I'm going to pause the video until it get back I mean I don't know it's stuck or something okay let's just close it power off the machine and let's start it again start should work this time I guess okay so yeah it's working there there must be some glitch so in case if you also face the same error you could what you could do is start again so now is the simple Mac installation so if you have installed Mac before then you will find something totally totally sim similar to what you have installed last time I'll hide my dog bar okay okay hide so I'm going to go in the full screen cool so let's see how much time it takes okay so this thing is done now you have to select your language I'll use English as the main language and I'll hit next then it will say preparing installation so you have to wait until it prepares the installation okay so here's the welcome screen and what you could do is just you know so uh, you're going to see this welcome screen in this welcome screen just click continue and proceed further again click agree then you have to select the destination though well those who have left this video by now will be stuck in this part and I'm sure they'll return well you will be stuck over here because you won't be able to select any hard disk where you have to install Mac OS X so uh, what you gotta do is you could see there is a scrolling stuff just on the right just scroll a bit up when you scroll up you see there is a tool you know there on the menu bar there is an option utilities just click on utilities when you click utilities click on disk utility now select this hard disk which you just created and then create new image or I would say create okay sorry do not uh, create new image click on erase once you click erase just click the button erase and again click erase okay so it is erasing it's part it is creating a partition or something I don't know whatever it is it is just doing a job once once it is done you could close it okay now you'll see there is an option available just select the option and click continue and click install now install will take some time this thing will be done then you know it is checking the installation DVD right now once that will be done it will be 
it will be installing that that will take approximately 30 minutes depending upon the RAM you have provided to the virtual box so uh, I'll let it install on it and 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 after that there are very small things like your time zone your country your currency and all those things so I will be skipping the whole part of that because whatever I have to teach you is still this only after this you can do, do everything on your own so I'm just going to run what it looks when the virtual box is totally installed okay so now every time you will be running the Mac it will take a lot of time in the beginning you you could see all this script running so once you have completely installed Mac and when you close the virtual machine and when you run it again it is going to take some time it is going to take some time but you know be patient be you know you do not need to skip this screen just be over here and trust me it will open okay let's let's see if it opens or not uh, okay so well uh, till the time it is opening I just want to make a simple request to you guys this is my first video and I'm going to make a lot more videos from now on so you know it could be really motivating if you guys could please subscribe to my channel and hit like if possible you know I do not earn from these videos so definitely I'm not you know I won't be trying to just subscribe my channel you know rather I should not say that someone cries because but that will be wrong after all no one cries to you know no one cries I'm sorry I take my words back well but still I won't be forcing you to subscribe to my channel but it would be you know very great if you could do that if I get more subscribers I will be creating more videos well you know you could please leave the comment in the comment section that what could be the next video which I could make and okay so let's see if it's opening or not well by the time it's opening you could press enter keys I mean maybe that helps I don't know there should be nothing problem in clicking enter keys whoa I'm creating a lot of keys yeah this is me this is arch tech oopsies okay all of a sudden it stopped and you could see all of a sudden I was typing something but this screen come over well I have changed the I have changed the wallpaper so definitely you're not going to see this wallpaper but this is what it feels when you first well I'm going to change it in the full screen mode okay so you could scroll up you could scroll down and you know there's your your Mac I mean you could also run it in a full screen mode not the total full screen but yeah I don't know call it a semi full screen mode okay this is it so you know everything is there your hard disk is there which you just created and you know so this is how you run Mac OS X for total free Okay, so bye-bye guys. I take a leave now and please leave what video should I make next in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel. That could be really helpful. And okay, peace. Bye-bye. Have fun.